Okay, uh, we're back to summarize everything we've talked about here and really just highlight some of the uh, takeaways and best practices and lessons learned based on our experience uh, uh, managing projects for FEMA and, and other customers in the, in the emergency management uh, sector. Here are uh, a number of, of things we've identified, you know, thinking about all this work and what we what we've done with FEMA specifically. So to kind of start, um, you know, we, we believe uh, that that Scrum really has helped us lower the risk that we might not meet our customers requirements. Um, because we're getting their buy in uh, that kind of thing. Um, this this helped us reduce risk and and that is one of the, the key benefits. The, the next thing is, is that it really increased the communication between the team and stakeholders. And you know that was a huge benefit that was something we were looking for a ways to improve and, and this helped us do that. You know, Scrum also helped us improve accountability for uh, our team members who are working on tasks because it's presented and online and coworkers are, are seeing things and the customers interacting and seeing uh, what you're working on and there's a sprint demo every two weeks. Um, you know, people are more engaged and, and paying closer attention to, to work. Uh, and, and also it's, it's helped us so that um, tasks don't go on for, for a very long time. Uh, we, you know, chunk things down uh, to be delivered within the sprint, and I think all all that has helped improve accountability. And then, you know, bo boosting morale and and satisfaction of of everybody involved. I think this process has made it more fun to to work on this stuff and uh, work together, and um, also see the progress that's being made. There's a ton of of great work, and I think. Now, um, both the customer and, and team members working on this uh, get satisfaction from, from seeing uh, the progress uh, as we work through this. What do you think, uh, Maddie, in terms of uh, these points on, on how Scrum has, has helped us here? Yeah, I think it makes our work just way more visible. Um, and just having these demos every two weeks showing exactly what we completed um, and then having it recorded and available to watch back if it was missed, um, I think just really eliminates any kind of miscommunication or confusion about, you know, what we're working on. It's just, it's right there and um, it's, it's been great. Yeah, I think it's opened a new line of communication too. Yeah. 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 And I think, um, you know, this could obviously be applied to any type of work, you know, and we think it's especially uh, well suited to emergency management kinds of projects for all the reasons we've mentioned. So, you know, lessons learned, um, basically a, a hybrid approach, uh, combining elements of both traditional and agile, uh, we think have worked best for us and, and generally do. Um, although Agile has been great for, for these reasons we've mentioned. There are also aspects of traditional project management that are really important too, in terms of uh, producing uh, reports and certain kinds of documentation uh, artifacts um, as well. So, you know, using both has, I think, been the, the right way to go and can satisfy any kind of uh, person you're dealing with in, in an organization could, because of course they may be uh, you know more traditional or more agile themselves and so having a way to kind of handle that communication and, and uh, engage with with them has uh, is, is really been helpful. Uh, the second point here is uh, you know based on our experience you know keeping the, the stand-ups and the sprint demos as short as possible has, has really improved participation as well. So we're mm -hmm. getting more people involved by, you know, not taking up so much of their time <laughs> with everybody's calendars uh, being uh, full and, and especially in, in this uh, domain of, of emergency management, people are, are in demand elsewhere. 
uh, we want to make this easy and um, this this process what we've implemented here uh, does that and like Maddie said um, you know we schedule separate longer uh, get-togethers for uh, more lengthy discussions on on technical items or or uh, work sessions mm -hmm. kind of thing. yeah any meeting with an agenda or um with an agenda uh, with a lot of material that you're trying to get in in a set amount of time i really truly believe you need to use a timer and i think initially it's a little uncomfortable like okay i'm going to time this part of the conversation and then we have to move on but then it just sort of becomes a part of your process and people get used to it and people also become a little more cognizant of you know are they going off on a tangent and they they need to eventually bring it back because the timer is going to go off or, or whatever so um <laughs> it's a weird specific thing but we found it to be really useful and really effective and people are more willing to participate and and engage in meetings because they trust that if it says it's an hour it's only going to be an hour you know so yeah but you know you're pointing out another thing too which is that it it also changes behavior and the culture of of working together a bit because because of this format um you know people are are more on point and they know they have to keep it short and you're going to be seen and and in this way for this time uh, a period of time with with these people um I, I think you know that's kind of interesting too it, it brings about a cultural change and and really that that's what it takes i mean it's all about a work culture you know yeah. uh, and, and trying to improve that and and whatever whatever that means of course is is fine uh, you know in this case uh, we were able to achieve change through applying you know scrum and, and agile but you know a couple other items here you know we we found that this seems to work best um, you know if people are really engaged in using these tools i think that has encouraged participation and everything too but but it really allows the, the boards to be filled out with the amount of documentation that's necessary. Um, it, it brings people together to collaborate using Miro, um, screen sharing, all that stuff. So, you know, use, using the tools makes this really mm -hmm. click and uh, I don't know. Yeah, and, it, it's not going to work if you can't get your team to buy into this sort of process and culture and to the last point here, you know, retrospectives, incorporating feedback into the cycle fosters team engagement and buy-in. So if you can really get your team to trust that their feedback and their thoughts on how it's going matters and is going to be incorporated into your process, um, that's going to, you know, uh, empower them to be a part of it more. You know, if they have a say in how it's run and how it works, they're going to be more willing to engage in the tools that you want to use for your sprint process. So um, yeah, we found that it's, um, it's, a, it's worked. And it's also been a great way, as you mentioned, previously to hold people accountable um, with the task that they are taking on each sprint is making this sort of visible, you know, making it out there and giving everyone access to see what's what tasks you've taken on. So, so there's probably many other uh, lessons other organizations have have gleaned from their application of this. Um, and, and there may be other areas that, that it helps too, but, but these were kind of the big ones we saw uh, based on, on our work. And, uh, you know, I think that that pretty much summarizes our, our final views of, of this experience. It's been very successful for us. It's been more fun. Our customer is happier. Our team members are happier, you know, th thanks to Maddie for being a great scrum master and, and really being the one to initiate a lot of, of what we've shown here today. Um, it takes a, uh, a champion uh, to, to do this because of all the, all the uh, parts to this and, and, the, and the parties to it. And, um, and Maddie has been that, that champion both internally within uh, New Light, but also for our, our customer and um, and and their environment. So you know, thank thank you, Maddie. And I I appreciate that, but we have a really incredible team as well who is is uh, moving mountains daily uh, with the tasks that they're accomplishing. So I give credit to the team as well for what they've done. Yes.
that is for sure. It takes everybody's involvement. Yes. Um, and uh, thank you for listening. If you have questions or want to talk about this or whatever, um, contact us. We uh, here are our emails. We will also be, uh, you know, adding content to the Inspire website that will uh, uh, give you some other examples uh, from from the ones uh, we, we've shown uh, to kind of round out your experience uh, applying uh, project management uh, in whatever emergency management context you're working in. So thank you. Thanks.